Accessibility is absolutely important when creating your online course and e-learning program. So how do you make things ADA compliant? We are gonna be covering the seven things to make your online course and e-learning program ADA compliant all the time. And remember, e-learning is all about your learners. So we have a free masterclass linked right below this video so you can define exactly who your learners are and you know where to start every e-learning program you ever build, every e-learning module you ever build, every online course you ever build. So we will see you in there. But if you're still with us, the first thing you need to consider is the course structure. You want to simplify the course structure. In addition to this being ADA compliant, it's a great practice to have overall because you don't want it to be complicated. You want it to be user friendly and extremely easy to navigate through. So simplifying your course structure, we don't need to reinvent how to discover the atom or whatever. We just need to keep it simple. Yeah, and just as Hector said, it's all about the navigation. It's all about how you actually sequence things in your course. So don't make it complicated. Make it a simple A to Z journey for your learner. And you've knocked off the first step in the ADA compliance sequence. The second thing is how you set up the navigation with your keyboard. Okay, so keyboard setup. So when you're building out your e-learning, you want to make sure that your keyboard setup related to the interactions happening in your e-learning program is simple. This means that you shouldn't have keys that are really far away from each other. This means you shouldn't have keys that can be misconstrued as something else. You really want to make the keyboard setup for the navigation of your course to be simple. The third is closed captions. Closed captions for audios and for videos. This is absolutely critical. Johnny, take it away. Here's the reality. There are people out there that can't hear. In addition, there are people that just learn better reading. So when you have a video or an audio file, you wanna make sure that you have a text version of that and that you can easily pull that up in the learning. Mm -hmm. This means that if you're creating an authored e-learning, you wanna make sure that every video, every audio segment that you have has a correlated closed captioning availability. In addition, every video that you make or e-learning, whatever it is, you want there to be an option to pull up those subtitles, those closed captions. So another way to do this is to have text transcripts of everything. So same thing, if you have videos in your e-learning, make sure that the entire transcript is there of the video and accessible to your learner. If you have an audio bite, same thing, have the transcript. And it's not, these are things that aren't hard to do. Yeah. When you have that video, you have that audio, all you have to do is use a site like rev.com, upload it there, get the transcript, and you can export it as both a closed captioning and a transcript. So two birds, one stone, ADA compliance. And within your online course and e-learning program, you can easily upload that transcript respective to that <laughs> video so it's easily downloadable for the learner. And make as well. sure that it's easy to navigate to, so easily accessible, and that you don't have to press some weird thing on the keyboard to get it ha to happen. Which goes on to the fifth thing, which is consider the colors that you are using for your online course and e-learning program. We don't want to use a million in different colors and colors that may bleed into one another. We want to keep it simple, typically one or two colors that are easily distinguishable. For example, blue and white. Those are two great yes. colors that you so can be very distinguish. careful. You also want to keep in mind that some people that take your course may be colorblind. So that's why you want to keep your shades. It's more about the shades than it is about the color. So as Hector said, have a lighter color and a darker color that aren't going to be misconstrued as the same color. Next, you wanna make sure that you're including graphics. So charts and graphs are so important because people learn visually. Not everyone wants to read a bunch of text either. People don't wanna to have to read to learn what could be much easier to learn with a graph or chart. Which then goes on to Font size, going with graphics and charts, the visual aspect, font size. So don't have it be really, really, really small. You want it to be much larger because, mm -hmm. I mean, even me, like I have glasses, but my eyes get so bad every year that bigger fonts are just very, very good for me. So font size specifically, you want it to be larger sizes. 
So remember, we have a free masterclass for you. It is linked below to this video. Go check it out. It's all about how you create an online course and e-learning program successfully every single time. Thank you for the likes and the subscribe. We'll see you there. See you there.